Halo Mega Constructs fans across the internet, I bring you tidings of bad news. Can you have tidings of bad news or is it just tidings of joy? I say we let it play. I will let it play. Tidings of bad news today, folks. <laughs> New York Toy Fair has been cancelled for the second year in a row due to, um, Le, le Corona Beer. I'm here to say, yeah, you know, I'm very frustrated, but it's probably for the best. We actually had press passes on the horizon, like we were planning to go to this event. Kevin Hurd from Halo Collector and myself were going to be press at New York Toy Fair, which is something that I have legitimately wanted to do since I was a small child. I have watched this toy fair emerge since 2010 when they first started showing Halo Mega Blocks at the event. Like back in the day, I don't know if it's quite the case nowadays because you know, social media is so rampant. In 2010 to 2015, we would like gather as a community and like wait for the New York Toy Fair leaks to come through. Like all the new Halo sets would be revealed at these events. And while it has scaled down a little bit over the years, like 2020 Toy Fair, it showed off a lot of new Halo Infinite products, but it didn't show off like the entire range. Like New York Toy Fair used to show off the blind bags, the Halo heroes, the random combat units. Like it was a full package deal. All I'm gonna do today is mourn the sweet loss of the New York Toy Fair and read through the official blog post by Toy Fair NY. What does the NY stand for? New York. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh my God, I know. <laughs> Get a clue. The Toy Association, producer of New York Toy Fair, the largest toy play and youth entertainment marketplace in the Western Hemisphere, has announced the cancellation of New York Toy Fair, originally set to take place February 19th to 22nd. Key to our efforts these past two weeks have been the balance of some 700 remaining committed toy manufacturers saying they need and want Toy Fair 2022 to build their businesses, weighing that against those departed and seriously on the fence and needing to provide a sufficient quantity and quality across the retail buying community necessary to deliver a positive experience. I get it 1000%. This must be a huge decision by this toy association. The toy association sounds like, like big chicken, right? That just sounds like- Big toys. Yeah, it just sounds like big toys. It sounds like all of America's toys. Anyway, the toy association, I can get why that's a big decision. Like legitimately, you can't put people's lives at risk um, I don't even want to say the word. There was one like, you know, I did a live stream recently, 13 and a half hours long. I mentioned the word and the entire 13 and a half hours was de demonetized. I can't even say it. It makes me nervous. No, the entire 13 and a half hour live stream was demonetized because I used uh, the word. I also like the context that in like 20 years time, new teenagers are going to watch like videos like this and they're like, what is, what is he talking about? What's the word? Or they're gonna watch like talk shows, like old recordings of talk show hosts with no audience. And or like, like what's Jimmy Fallon at home. Jimmy Fallon at home and they're like, what happened? Did you ever <laughs> see Jimmy Fallon's like crib during that? But I kind of liked the realness of it, you know? Yeah. I really liked that it was like just his daughters and he's like, look it, we have a slide. And yeah. he shows his daughters like going on the slide. He goes, that's your entertainment for the day. I don't know, Brian and James Corden, they both did a good job. I don't believe this. The New York Toy Fair had a 117 year streak. 117, boys. Oh. Whoa. A 117 year streak. But hey, if it's been canceled the last two years, that must legitimately be because you can't go past the number 117. It's too epic. <laughs> yeah. Master Chief, though. This is a long-term Master Chief meme. Oh gosh. All right, so t New York Toy Fair had a 117 year unparalleled track record of success. I love that. Unparalleled track record of success. Compared to what other New York Toy Fair? <laughs> <laughs> we are the greatest Toy Fair in New York. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest Toy Fair in this region of a country. It remains the Toy Association's responsibility to protect business rights, promote toy companies, advocate for members, and help members sell their product and also make a lot of money. I love any business uh, that tries to talk about like values outside of making stonking hard cash. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> they're always like, we're committed to, you know, protecting our employees and all that's good. But like at the end of the day, you're like, you're here to make 
more money than Scrooge McDuck, you know? I don't believe you. Exactly. <laughs> you. The Toy Association leads the health and growth of the US toy industry, which has an annual US economic impact of $98.6 billion. And it's roughly 900 members drive the annual 32.6 billion US domestic toy market. As a global leader, the Toy Association produces the world-renowned Toy Fair New York. Okay, this is just, this has gone on to just the Toy Association showing off. Anyway, the New York Toy Fair is canceled and I'm pretty bummed. I was going to go for the first time ever. Now I leave it in the hands of Mega Constructs and Jazzware themselves. Uh, Mega Constructs, if you are watching this video for any reason, please do reach out to content creators like myself, Halo Podcast Evolved, Brickman117, Demarcation Media, Tower of Ultimate Doom, like we're all there, we're ready to help promote this event as much as you wanted. Like I'm, I'm sure Mega Constructs and Jazzware Toys already have a full lineup of promotional materials they have ready for this event. So let's switch the gears and send it all our way. Uh, the content creating community are ready to help you out. I want to open up a much larger relationship between Mega Constructs and Jazzware Toys with the overall YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter Halo Mega Constructs community. Like what you've seen with the Halo fan vote for the Haunted Helmet, I've made four videos on that Haunted Helmet so far. For the first time ever, you've been completely transparent with the design and production process. Look at how many views that has gained you in terms of publicity. Halo Heroes Series 16 is the most anticipated series of all time just because you've helped promote it behind the scenes, right? So I'm hoping that although the New York Toy Fair has been canceled, this is a good opportunity to return the favor to content creators and start opening some communication channels with us all. I'm gonna end today with a small slideshow of some of my favorite reveals from all the Toy Fairs prior. 2010 all the way through to 2020, there have been some incredible reveals at these events. I'm gonna do some more videos, especially up and coming to the original event date for New York Toy Fair 2022, showing off like in-depth looks at all of the different figures that have been showcased at these events and how those figures vary to the completed product. So shout out to you all. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoy these kind of free flow news videos. I wanna open up uh, to an actual camera more often instead of recording audio directly into the MacBook. And shout out to the 2,800 new subscribers in the last 28 days. That's 100 a day, baby. And also look forward to a full review of the Tesla Cybertruck in the next few days and a full Halo Infinite Series 3 blind bag opening video. This was another video with the domain and we'll see you next time. Hopefully we'll have some New York Toy Fair news regardless of the actual event coming very soon. Signing off.